Good morning, dear friends. We are opening our open conference, 25 years anniversary of the Institute of Systemic Programming, named after Ivanikov. And before we give the floor to our participants, I would like to read the telegram. The highest governmental telegram. Dear friends, esteemed colleagues, I am happy to welcome organizers and participants of the open conference of uh, the ISP RAS, named after Ivanikov. So, over the recent years, um, ISP RAS became the leading competence center for the technologies. The ecosystem of the Institute supports the full chain of development uh, from a uh, generation of ideas down to fundamental research and implementation of innovative technologies and also enables us to prepare trained talents of highest qualification and is in demand among and attracts much interest in the general wider broader in international community so i wish you fruitful work constructive discussions effective uh, results uh, research results sharing assistant to the president of the russian federation andrei forsenko esteemed colleagues i need to say that beginning of December is uh, very busy here in Russia. A number of events are, are being carried out. Four hours ago, I came from Sochi, where I moderated uh, the Winter Winter Island event. I moderated it uh, under Mr. carried out after under Mr. Peskov and another event uh, under the president of Russia. So all year. So we, our organizers, uh, prepared um, a video. Let's. On the 25th of January, the Institute of Systemic Programming of Russian Academy of Sciences uh, turned 25 years. For the high school, this is not a secret, but uh, being young is not a drawback in this sector. In 1994, academician, first founder of ISP RAS, Viktor Ivanikov, uh, in one of his uh, numerous interviews, uh, said, for me, one of the holy cows is to train new talents. Uh, first, I want to choose his successor. Second, to install his successor very early on and make him part of the decision making. So, in a way, everything went very smoothly. Uh, so, uh, for a time, uh, uh, the new director was making the decisions and uh, Victor was the consultant, you know, the advisor. Uh, so, I think that I see absolutely no problem. Uh, it will go very smoothly. Uh, moreover, I believe that the new captain. The new director is an extremely good and as a scientist and also an extremely nice person with a lot of international connections. So I see absolutely the future in the very my department over the recent 10 years grew from 10 to more than 50 people and those are our ex-students and also we see some succession processes uh, the ex-students become lecturers now and they train new talents the main task of uh, this uh, unit the department is verification of our systems uh, as all employees of our institute i am curator of uh, scientific works of students uh, in um, mipt and the high school of economic and moscow state university and it is important to maintain balance uh, between ideas and real developments uh, starting 2015 the institute uh, is um, headed by arutun avidesan ex-student of mr ivanikov academician uh, phd in uh, physics and maths uh, professor of R russian academy of sciences i always uh, look at what i do through the eyes of of my teacher and uh, I was working next to him all these years and he always uh, taught me to look not only at positive uh, things uh, but look at the things that should be corrected and adjusted and things you can develop in so this approach is always is always make you restless because if you think that everything is fine around it it means that uh, you missed something so I think he would have been happy uh, looking at uh, what is happening today discussing what to do how to make the next step and make the second uh, the next decade even more successful than previous decade now the the faculty of uh, the Institute is young people from 25 to 40 years of age and all of them are real professionals and they're very involved uh, in science First, in the Russia today, I'm the Institute is considered in Israel one of the uh, very serious institutes that uh, people in Israel should try to collaborate with, should promote uh, joint, uh, joint projects with, and I'm very happy that I have this opportunity. 
and we kind of have the full collaboration of the uh, Institute for Systems Programming of Russian Academy of Sciences. We are close with uh, Hewlett Packard uh, about 10 years ago when we hosted the Open Series Cloud Computing Testament. It was a very successful uh, uh, effort. I'm reading the course, I'm lecturing. Uh, the same course uh, Mr. Vanikov uh, lectured for me 20 years ago, and now I'm lecturing it for the first graders, and I also do lectures on some other courses. You know, Viktor Petrovich Vanikov didn't give us specific uh, advice, but he showed he was a role model of how to work, and the culture of workshops, the culture of how we work with students, uh, and how to do lectures. You know, he was role model in all these areas, but I remember it very, very good, very well, that the lecturer is an actor, but the manager, leader, should always care about uh, his or her employees. So he was role model in all these areas. In the framework of transfer of knowledge, um, ISPRAS is creating an, a network, a chain of regional labs of systemic programming in Yerevan, in the city of Veliki Novgorod, and in 2019, uh, one lab was opened in the city of Orol. So such distributed center of competences uh, allows the institute to spread and share knowledge and also tackle huge tasks in development and implementation of software. 2004, I met uh, Mr. Ivanikov, and we decided to carry out, in the city of Novgorod, carry out a workshop for teachers who teach systemic programming. And that's when I first uh, got information on Mr. Vannikov, who he is. So he impressed me very much. Well, you know, there are people in your life who change your life dramatically, and Viktor Petrovich is one of such people. And I realized that I just want to do things together with him, to do projects. And in 2009, we set up, we carried out uh, a guided tour for the Institute uh, to the city of Veliki Novgorod, and at at that time, we decided that we would make a joint project. In September 2009, we started our first, first pilot project in the most pre prestigious technical Moscow universities, Moscow State University, MIPT, and uh, also the High School of Economics. There are departments of systemic programming where ISPRAS uh, um, ex students and lecturers are uh, carrying out um, classes. We also have students from the institute named after Bauman. Uh, now they come to, to us for their post-grad studies, and uh, now we have five uh, post-grad students uh, joined us uh, recently. So it's four years that I've been working with the Institute, and it has developed very much over these years. Every year we see new things coming around, and we work more in a more effective manner with students. We see new areas emerging, and I think uh, the Institute will grow even further and develop in the coming years. Over 25 years in the Institute, we set up a very robust team, and after 2019, the, the results are the results are 773 million rubles of raised financing for our activities, and this is three times more than 10 years ago. The share of contracts for the Institute is more than 88%. Half of them is signed with Russian, and half of them is signed with the international companies. The number of employees of the Institute now is about 300 people, and this number is growing constantly. We are the only center existing in Russia for this particular subject and we are working with, with various companies and the experience stays inside the Institute and this allows us to tackle the next tasks. Uh, so the Institute uh, set up a cooperation with the key actors in the sector and even set up uh, research labs with such large companies as Samsung, Huawei, Dell and Bentley Systems. Samsung specialists uh, realized that Russia is not just Russia, but uh, Russia with the Institute of Systemic Programming in it. We have the technological basis, a uh, unique basis. I'd say it is, um, it cannot be replicated anywhere else. We have a very robust team in place and very good, very good team of people who survive through all tough times and is a real top class uh, international standard. Uh, uh, by today, the Institute has done a huge amount of work. The major part of it, as Mr. Vanikov wanted, is uh, the training high-quality talents and specialists who are ready to work according to international standards and create new and unique solutions for the most important area of the future, development and programming. Very good video indeed. And looking at this work, we're very proud of. I can't believe that we're so young, 25 years uh, of the Institute. I am sure that Mr. Ivanikov uh, would have been happy how uh, his ex-student, his successor and academician, now the first uh, Russian academician in cybersecurity, how he is leading this institution. Arutinovitisan, the floor is yours.
thank you very much for those who joined us here today. I understand you're all very busy people, but for us this is a very important occasion. I'm sorry that we, you know, we had this video. Now I'm going going to say a couple of words and take your time. But can we have a presentation on the on the screen? But I would like to briefly tell you about um, the things. Probably, it's hard to to understand it from the video, but uh, 25 years, if we look at how our building looked like in 1999, not 1994, but 99, the first five years we tried to stabilize uh, our business model and the ecosystem and, uh, you know, many talents uh, left us uh, during these times, but uh, that's how the building looks like today, and uh, this uh, is a decade ago image, uh, This and uh, that's just the physical content we see. 300 people is the headcount of the institute, uh, and the number of postgrads and students is growing constantly. We opened new departments in the Higher School of Economics. You saw this information on the video, and all these things, uh, uh, and this success is based on the basis of the scientific uh, school, that the scientific uh, basis that uh, started uh, uh, from the uh, Acad Academician Lab of uh, Development and Works and uh, Institutions. Uh, so Vic Mr. Victor, Mr. Vanikov and Mr. Karalov and Mr. Melnikov uh, and a lot of uh, other prominent experts uh, laid the, f the basis for, for the today's success. So this scientific school and the org structure around this uh, is an ideal ideal position where we can have a long-term development. The old team, uh, you know, the youngest person is Mr. Simeonov. Uh, he joined uh, us uh, when quite young. Uh, you know, just a couple of people remain with us uh, due to various reasons. A lot of people left. Unfortunately, Nikolai Nikolaevich Kuzurin um, died a couple of days ago, uh, head of the Department of Theoretical Mathematics. And this is a huge loss for us because Viktor Petrovich uh, always said that uh, uh, without maths, uh, the development programming cannot uh, cannot develop effectively. So, this is uh, a real loss for us. It's bad news. But this model of education, innovation, and research, uh, known in our country as um, the Triangle of Lavrentiev, and Sigridi says the same, the Triangle of Knowledge. You know, this is a model well known across the world, and uh, uh, in our institute. Uh, it has been formulated for the for all these years. Uh, we're now 25 years. We were working in operational systems and development instruments. Uh, everyone knows that these are very important areas today, especially we if we speak about long-term competitive development. Uh, uh, you know, IT is everywhere. Everything is getting digital. One of the works uh, done over the recent couple of years under Fedosov, uh, Mr. Fedosov team. Uh, uh, so. Russian operation system for avionics. Internet of Things uh, ties in together with Samsung project and we prepared and developed instruments and a lot of other things. Uh, hundreds of patches and working with the open code. I'm proud of uh, five uh, official reviewers of GCC code. This is uh, the main compiler of Linux. Uh, in the world, there are just 50 people working in this area and we just have five of them in Russia and they all work in our institute. And another large block, uh, life cycle of development of secure the um, safe uh, software. Uh, RAS, uh, management uh, December last year decided that this should uh, be recognized as a new specialization and we actively cooperate with companies for instance our technology of uh, program analysis is implemented in Samsung and the whole company Samsung is utilizing it and I'm very proud of it I um, I would like to say that Charles Joachim is here today with us and one of um, his managers is uh, the uh, large managers of large uh, R&D center of Samsung and we've been uh, cooperating for over 10 years now. We started with research and then went to implementation, down to implementation in the largest company. Now we do the same with Russian companies, Rusbytech and uh, Kaspersky. I hope that we have um, representatives of this company here today and other companies who are working in security, so they will implement our technologies and that's very important for us. Next large block we were working in, everything related to analysis of big data and artificial intelligence. And I would like to say that uh, it's not enough to just create a technology of uh, text analysis, of uh, analysis of social media. We, uh, we have uh, industry scale products we can supply solutions and we need to control the whole stack of uh, software and uh, also utilize cloud solutions and understanding realizing all these ideas we started actively developing our own technologies that are now part of the state register so all these uh, things on the slide Aspiritus for instance it is a part of the state register today and uh, you can use it and this is also our contribution into science and the industry for instance uh, for instance another applied solution is our long-term five-year term 
operations with our linguists. Uh, uh, Ms. Narmanska is here. Uh, I think she will say a couple of words about such projects. Uh, we prepared system LinguaDoc, and uh, the task is to make it a cloud service uh, for linguists, not only from our country, it is an international uh, project, actually. So for other linguists to use it uh, barrier-free, it is important today. It's not enough to, pr to produce the technology, but to make it available for students, for postgrads, uh, for researchers. This is a very important thing. So this type of experience allows us to set up such platforms. Uh, uh, you know, platforms, uh, we... we speak about platforms a lot they are not abstract you know digital platforms for medicine platforms for agriculture unfortunately academic is my of um Academician Ismailov um, should have joined us, uh, but probably she will join us. He will join us shortly. We worked on some projects uh, uh, in medicine and healthcare, but in linguistics and uh, agriculture, we're just starting our operations. But without this stack of software of the lowest level, um, the top uh, part of it uh, will be postponed. Uh, Things um, that you do not, you cannot control, or things that change, uh, um, are important to get under, to take under control. Otherwise, you cannot compete. So I'm very proud that we were able to create such technologies, and we can support them in the long term. That's very important. Another, another thing we're very proud of. Ten years ago, we started working in the framework of the community. You know, Dejan Milosevic on the video uh, spoke about the um, Women's Science International Project. We set up a small group for mathematical modeling around open packages and this developed this project developed quite actively uh, so since we are specialists in systemic programming but Mr. Shudverushkin supported us in this work and head of um, the lab uh, Matvey Kraposhin uh, also had his PhD on this subject so all these things are very important and we also increase our cooperation with MIPT and we work uh, closely with Mr. Pogasian and I think this area will be developing very actively so now I would like to go to the level of the models so because everything that I'm mentioning now is right now exhibited at the fair that we're having here and there are many booklets and brochures available there so you can check for details over there. My presentation is just about highlighting the major points, telling you why it's not going to die tomorrow but it's going to develop. As for the new models, we understood around 10 years ago, we understood that even if we have large resources, it is not sufficient. We need to create distributed network mechanisms, therefore we launched uh, labs in Yerevan and the Yerevan person working right now uh, has physical and technical and engineering background. He uh, received PhD uh, in our institute and right now in Beliki Novgorod there is Vladimir Makarov jointly with whom we've uh, brought up a big and great team that will be focused on analysis of big data and artificial intelligence. This year we set up um, another lab in the city of Oryol. Alexander Kazachok is a brilliant professional and expert. I know him for many years and we're going to set up jointly with him a cluster over there. That This is only the start, by the way, and all this done um, using off-budget money. We are absolutely confident about our resources and that we, our potential, if it can be accelerated, actually we are prepared to make a leap forward so we can come up, come up with 30 labs over the next decade. But of course the community support is needed. So I've mentioned math modeling. Another thing stream is linguistics, right? And cross-disciplinary approach. If we see this uh, cross-disciplinary potential, then we'll build the labs. Sergei Srijak, Matvey Kraposhna, I hope you're here. And they are those guys who are pulling all this forward. There's a web lab in which people can communicate and there's a whole track in the conference. Um, many foreign colleagues come because open code allows to talk one and the same language regardless of the country. This helps us mobilize resources and tackle absolutely different uh, tasks. Jointly with Alexei Nikolaevich, we are doing a digital um, uh, project for one of the companies. Why? Because we can use not only our 15 people who work in your lab, but we can mobilize hundreds of specialists and be convinced that we can succeed with this project. Same for with the linguistics scream. Just several days ago in the institute we are creating an internal lab in our institute and the main point of the lab is not to become a linguist but to modulate the community, the linguistic experts community because if it's moderated correctly then it can be developed into something interesting and our experience shows that it can be done, it can be touched by the hand, it is something tangible. So every domain needs individual approach. You cannot apply one size fits everyone approach. And if there is a model which is imposed on something, you need to account for cultural specifics, on the local specifics, even at the level of the family. Therefore, we are accounting for all these specifics, for all these details. We are trying to build this network, which is going to be more sustainable to externalities and will be more successful in terms of long-term development.
and just some statistics to share with you. If 1999 was one, then uh, we have grown in the number of experts by six times. So this is the team of experts who are on average like 35 years old, so there is no leakage of uh, personnel. Only four people went abroad over recent several recent years. We are growing every year, and we are not aggressive, not setting very high ambitions. We're quite conservative, and we are based on the fact that we are a conservative story. We are about education, we're about science, and at the same time about innovation. So trying to balance all these things together in one place, it's not easy. Of course, we have the vision, we have the will, and the opportunities which grow manifold with the help of our partners and colleagues. I'm happy that we're right now in the Department of Mathematical Sciences. And if, unless Valeria supported us last year, I mean, headed all this stream, then we won't come up with the new interesting things. But we have jointly developed the program of Mathematical Institute and the action steps of how to move forward, like quantum computing, specifically in the data transmission. Someone has to do that, and mathematics is needed here, so programmers are not enough. Um, of course, FISTECH and the mathematics department of the Moscow State University creates good specialists, but they are not enough. We need professional mathematicians who have to contribute to our projects, and we have planned them for the next decade ahead. So these are our planning horizons. Same for our part. These are photos with Korean flags. Dr. Kim here, one of the leaders of Korean lab, he arrived a couple of weeks ago, and this year we're celebrating 10 years of our joint laboratory. And he was not able to commit for today, come here, but still we celebrated the 10 years and we have made plans for the next 10 years. And beginning next year, we are starting to develop the AI software engineering and everything which is related to AI to jointly with Samsung. And I hope the next five or 10 years will be focused on AI primarily. But what's most important? People, of course. So people, new knowledge, new technologies, and new people. So if we produce new people in a quality way, then we are a quality institute. But our team is great. Our team is growing. I see all bright new faces working with us. I'm not the youngest guy in the institute, and it gives me the chance to say that I have an army behind myself, so I cannot make a step back. I need to move forward. And our future is going to be bright. And I encourage all of our partners, those of you who are not our partners yet, please come, approach us. And I and absolutely um, believe in the win-win situation, which is our case. This is the model of our institute that we support. Let's do it together. Thank you. So Arutun said that you have an army behind you, but army is also around you and in the good essence of this world. I would like to introduce the panelists, Tusunyan Grigin Ashotovich, the president of Association of Russian Banks, Chuljo Kim, Samsung Research, Korea, Asap Schuster, professor of Technion from Israel, Valery Kozlov, vice president of Russian Academy of Sciences, Budnaru Denis Viktorovich, uh, Vice uh, Rector at Sechenov University, Pavel Volchkov, Head of Laboratory of Genome Engineering, Kesinchuk Vladislav, First Deputy General Director of Gosnias, Schmidt Alexander Viktorovich, Chairman of ES Leasing, Mikhail Pagasyan, uh, Head of Moscow Aviation Institute. Lutikov uh, is the deputy director at STEC. Yulagin Vyacheslav uh, from Hewlett Packard. Andrei Dukhvalov from Kaspersky Labs. Pyotr Shenkin, head of information security at FAPE. Yulia Narmanskova, chief scientist at the um, language studies at Russian Academy. So, Russian Academy of Sciences. Armais Kalmarov, Academician of Russian Academy of Sciences. Andrei Polin, Counselor on Scientific Activities. Anton Malachkov, um, External Relations at Monica Semyonov, Adil, Dell Technologies Russia. 
Белки, you weren't from Germany. Александр Уроженника from Ruzbytech. Николай Лучинин, head of a stream at Dell Technologies. Сергей Ягушкин, project manager from Huawei Labs. I would like to hand over the floor to Valery Kozlov, Vice President of Russian Academy of Sciences. Dear colleagues, dear friends, today we are, are opening the open conference, which is devoted to the 25 years of the System Programming Institute at the Russian Academy of Sciences, which is named after academician Ivanikov. Dear friends, I knew Mr. I Professor Ivanikov very well. He was absolutely an outstanding scholar, and a very open person, and a very just person. And I think that the Institute of System Programming that he has set up is um, it is correct that uh, this institute is named after him. But you know, the time flies so fast, and it's so strange to know that these 25 years uh, have gone, actually, and a lot of things, a lot of projects were implemented over those years, but many more are coming, I'm sure. This conference, which uh, will be hosted in the, by the Russian Academy of Sciences today and tomorrow will focus on several pillars which underpin the Institute of System Programming. So what are those pillars? What are those sessions that are going to be um, discussed? Data management and information systems, um, continuum mechanics, tasks, analysis, modeling, and transformation technologies. So these are the sessions. So talking in a nutshell, this is actually a very large area of issues related to security of information systems. So many call it right now as um, an artificial intelligence. But at the same time, these blocks will be discussing development of the solutions that are aimed at settling very applied tasks uh, in the uh, domain of mathematics and physics. All these topics are highly important. Well, it's hard to forecast the future, but let's try. And if we look in the past and we'll try to analyze what were the scientific achievements that made humanity as it is today. For example, let's take 19th century. This is, of course, creation of thermobit theory. And as Richard Perman correctly mentioned, just one Faraday with his experiments has justified all the costs on the science or on research and development for the futures. 20th century is the quantum revolution, creation of quantum mechanics. And this is, of course, a great achievement. And the contemporary microelectronics is um, impossible without quantum physics achievements that were made in the 20th century. But actually, what is ahead of us? What is the future? We are very much counting on the fact that the information technology century is here. And we, I think, can look forward to some outstanding breakthroughs in the IT sphere. In my presentation, or in my welcome speech, rather, in his welcome speech, Mr. Avatisyan mentioned the streams that are actively developing right now and out of them, he also mentioned quantum computing that were suggested by mathematicians. Quantum computers are also having high potential in terms of 
they're arriving. In order to make it all possible, we need to have required qualifications. The Institute of System Programming is on the front line of um, all this effort, and we really hope that you will continue doing so. 25 years in academic scales is, is not so long, because Russian Academy of Sciences is, will be celebrating 300 years soon. But again, 25 years compared with the age of our classical institutions is not so big. It's quite young, but you managed to do a lot. And it's my big pleasure to uh, mark it today. So just look around yourselves. Look at the members of the conference. The Institute of System Programming is one of the youngest in terms of age. And it is really great because the Institute has great present and will, will have brilliant future. The Institute is headed by a young person, too, in academic measures. Oh, I'm pleased to mention it. Oh, no. Ashot Arutunovich was uh, elected as an academician in the Russian Academy of Sciences, and he's going to be one of the youngest academicians. And all this um, highlights that Oh, actually, many important steps and actions and projects are in front of us. On behalf of the Russian Academy of Sciences, I would like, from the bottom of my heart, welcome all of you here, the members of the Associate Institute, the participants in the conference. I would like to congratulate you on the 25th anniversary of the Institute of System Programming, named after Ivanikov. And I would like to wish you good luck, good health, and a lot of success with your upcoming plans, with your upcoming future. We are really looking forward to working with you and supporting you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Valery Vasilievich, for your warm words. We do not, Mr. Kutikov is not present with us, but I talked with him one week ago, and we were discussing that the institute is having the anniversary soon. He was saying hello, and he actually planned to arrive to the conference, but unfortunately he was not able to commit. But why I remembered the minister? Actually, what you have mentioned, the youth of the institute and this uh, beautiful blend of the competencies and qualifications that institute has, they actually can also contribute to training people for the digital economy in Russia. Yesterday in Sochi, we actually talked about it among a number of leading universities that are training specialists. And I think that the Institute will uh, be very interested in terms of leading all the stream. As getting back to the streams in the, in the Institute that is leading, number one of them is cybersecurity. Stack is on the one side is the regulator, on the other side is a partner. And I know that there are many, many interesting things happening jointly with the Institute. And I would like to give the floor to, uh, to give the floor to Mr. Lutikov, the deputy director at Stack, who can elaborate on that. Dear friends and dear uh, participants in the conference, exactly one of the streams which is highly important and topical in the IT sphere is, of course, information security. And in this area, jointly with ISP, we have arranged a number of joint activities in order to enhance the efficiency of effort in this stream and integration of Russian advanced uh, developments in the information security domain in Russia. I would like to mention that our partnership is based on two pillars. The first one is secure development of software. And for this specific case, I can tell you that we have started actually working together several years ago and a big job was done. The international standards on secure development were uh, devised and we have also planned and we're talking with the, the ISP about the new document on standardization and we really hope that integration of these developments in the software developers' workflow. And by the way, there are more and more software developers uh, 
emerging because there is a large digital economy uh, field developed in Russia. And I really think that it can help improve the quality of uh, software. Another important stream uh, on which we work together is evaluation of security, certification of software um, in terms of their security compliance. And by the way, here, thanks to our joint project, we implement technologies and developments that are available at ISP. At the same time, as for implementing the methodology and technology, I think that the pace is very good. And the pace is in line with the contemporary risks and threats that we're faced with. Therefore, we are convinced that we can tackle the tasks that are in front of us. Another important aspect is to train specialists, train IT specialists. And in this stream, uh, again, jointly with ISP, we have arranged a number of activities and events. By the way, this year we have already ran three um, upskilling trainings for um, experts uh, in certification labs. And those upskilling, upskill trainings were based on the program and technology available with ISP. And all this effort showed that there is a number of issues uh, regar regarding applied technologies. It's no secret that in terms of development of secure software, we use many foreign technologies that are very costly. And uh, at the same time, these are the technologies that cannot be used the way we want it sometimes. Therefore, such think tank, such scientific institution that has high scientific potential and technology and experience in uh, specialist training is highly crucial in terms of providing for and secure software development. And uh, with the support of the Russian Academy of Sciences and the Ministry of Education and Sciences, we have inked a, an agreement with ISP about cooperation, which will allow us to work in a closer way, which will allow us to set up and integrate the certification systems in our major activity. And it will also allow us to integrate the technologies and scientific knowledge, which is currently available at ISP. And we expect that the result will, it will deliver a more efficient development of secure uh, software and critical information infrastructure. And I believe that relevant legislation is uh, already arriving. It's important to keep an eye on them. On my behalf and on behalf of the Federal Service of Technical and Export Control, I would like to congratulate all of you with not very big, but still very effective anniversary that you are having today. And would like to congratulate you on the results you've achieved and wish you for it to be just a starting point of the further development and uh, wish you more implementation of um, your developments in real life. I'm talking about our segment, Information Security, and I wish uh, your specialists and <coughs> I wish uh, in such uh, complicated, sophisticated area as system programming uh, specialists uh, focusing on specific, ensuring specific um, security measures so for for them to be as focused as possible. So I wish you, wish you very fruitful days, hope for further cooperation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is really a very important subject and uh, we would like to hear more on this uh, from Hankin, Mr. Hankin, Information, um, Information Security Department. Hello, dear colleagues. Uh, we cooperate with um, ISP RAS for a period of, uh, for quite a long period now, and this is one of the most, uh, one of the strongest Russian universities in information technologies and cybersecurity in Russia. And actually, 
Uh, joining what has already been said, I would like to wish the Institute to grow and develop and uh, improve in the areas where you already achieved very significant results. Thank you very much. Thank you. Andrei Dopals uh, from Kaspersky, are you here? I would like to know your uh, opinion. What is, opinion, is the opinion of the Kaspersky lab on this? Good morning. Kaspersky lab thinks that the ISP is doing a large amount of work and thank you very much for this over these 25 years though a, within the framework of the Russian Academy of Sciences this is not a very long period of time but anyway your contribution is amazing and I would like to get back to your words you mentioned that just recently Arutu Navitisan was uh, uh, elected an academician and I would like to say I would like to say that uh, in cybersecurity and informatics segments. I think this is uh, the achievement of himself personally and the institute he is, uh, he is leading. And today, informatization is an integral part of our life and cybersecurity is, is an aspect, an element you cannot go without. So the fact that the system programming is related to cybersecurity, now these things are equal. That's why development of software uh, this process without considering cybersecurity is just impossible. So congratulations, wish you for the successes. And we, Kaspersky Lab, in the nearest future, plan to become partners with ISP. So thank you very much for your work. Thank you. I would like to add, I have two Samsung phones, uh, smartphones, and Samsung TV at home. And now when I look at my smartphones and uh, my TV, I remember the Institute and the words by Mr. Avitisian. I was so impressed, uh, uh, you know, in almost in every gadget you have technologies of the Institute. It's hard to achieve international leadership without recognition on the international level. And that's why it's great that the long-term partner of the Institute is uh, Samsung. We have Chul Drew Kim in this room, uh, the um, head of... Uh, of the Department of Samsung Research, and I guess he wanted to say a couple of words. Please, you're welcome. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Turtle Kim, and I'm from Samsung Research, and I'm in charge of uh, software quality tool development. Uh, I'm, here, I'm here to share some short story with the IS class. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for inviting us, and I'd like to congratulate on the opening 2019 IS class of Compras. And it's a great honor to me uh, to uh, make a speech in this historic place. This is uh, really uh, exciting to me. Uh, actually, this year is very special for us because HKD has been uh, HKD has been passed uh, since the ISP and Samsung have been collaborated. Uh, there is a Korean proverb: uh, even mountains and rivers can be changed after a decade. It means that uh, ten years are so long that uh, everything around us can is not easy to stay the same. But now I know there is one exception. Uh, I think that uh, our partnership between Aspas and Samsung uh, is much stronger than the beginning, and we are still moving on together. Uh, and in the middle of our history, there is a space. Uh, uh, our collaboration initially started with uh, developing several tools, and now space has become one of the most important quality tools in Samsung. Uh, actually, the deploying space was not easy because we already had another tools, and uh, as you know, uh, the, it's very tough to change the tools in the software development process. Uh, however, uh, we found that uh, commercial tools have some limitations for, uh, from our point of view. The, firstly, uh, it is very hard to expect quick support for latest build environment. It's quite related to our time to market, so it's a very serious problem. Secondly, the meeting the requirement from engineers were not satisfying. Uh, so we cannot have our own checkers for our, our own purpose. Finally, uh, we cannot freely utilize the tools because of limited licenses. Uh, so, uh, in this situation, space was our best alternative for those tools. So, uh, we promoted space aggressively with the IS Plus, and we supported more than 100 build environments, and uh, we uh, satisfied almost needs from developers. So, uh, now the most Samsung developers on those space and they are using space daily, daily manner. So if you have any Samsung product, you are already, already a space customer. Uh, the Samsung has uh, several quality tools, but uh, I, I convinced that space is the, the biggest player among them. And anyway, this success story was that simple as it sounds. Uh, 
but IS Plus and Samsung work together and we made it happen because we work as just one team, not just a pattern. So we would like to express uh, the, our gratitude to Professor Allison and all IS Plus members. Uh, now we must prepare the next decade. Uh, there will be many obstacles and many challenges, and the IT industry is changing rapidly. But uh, we believe that we can overcome every obstacle with IS Plus. Uh, we are looking forward to write another success story for next decade. And thank you for listening, and we, I wish you all a successful conference. Thank you. Thank you very much. Another touchstone of success is, of course, development of operation systems. And I would like uh, Mr. Ksinchuk, uh, Deputy, Deputy Director of Bosnia, to say a couple of words. Good morning, dear colleagues. I'm happy to welcome all of you here at the open at the open conference devoted to the 25th anniversary of the Institute. I'm from the State Scientific Research Institute of Aviation Systems. Uh, this institute uh, was uh, led by Mr. Academic Fedosov and Academician Zoltov, and we are developing software for aviation applications, uh, a lot of onboard uh, complexes. Um, work and operate with our software inside. We develop the means of modeling for aviation systems and tackle other tasks in aviation. But um, just not long ago, the government of the Russian Federation and the Ministry of uh, Trade and Industry set uh, the task for us uh, to develop a Russian operation system for critical applications in real time. And starting from that point of time, we started cooperating with um, and is brass named after Mr. Vannikov. So this is quite significant work. You understand very well, and uh, the institute never let us down. And we've developed already developed the basic version of this operation system. And in the coming future, we will further work on this operation system for those to fine tune it for a specific specific hardware uh, that is. Uh, that is installed in the in our in our air jets, and we are very happy that we set up such cooperation with ISPRAS. And it is good that we also cooperate with the, and you cooperate with industrial institutions, uh, tackling real practical tasks, uh, not just scientific tasks, not just scientific tasks. So these things are very important, and I'm happy that um, we are working in this way. I'm also professor of the Russian Academy of Sciences, and I'm always happy and I always encourage uh, cooperation of uh, RAS and industrial institutions and industrial um, industrial facilities. I hope that this cooperation will last many years in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So you say that the institute is very reliable, never let you down, and uh, I think uh, that this is very important on the international level as well. I remember the plenary session of uh, the St. Pete Economic Forum where Huawei company became became the main talk of the town in St. Pete of uh, these days. And I would like uh, Sergei Yakushkin to say a couple of words, uh, project manager uh, of um, Product Lab of Huawei, to say a couple of words about such cooperation. Thank you. I am from St. Pete uh, Research Center of Huawei company. Our company is developing various uh, types of devices for mass uh, utilization, starting with smartwatch, uh, TVs, smartphones, and um, server platforms. Compilers and means of development are the foundation for software for development of um, sophisticated applications uh, for such devices. Integrated uh, means um, analysis of programs, uh, instruments, uh, and uh, fine-tuning and uh, finding, identifying the bugs uh, during development uh, actually impacts uh, the productivity and the development of the ecosystem. Efficiency of optimizing compilers of virtual machines impact uh, user experience, uh, forming the smoothness uh, of interfaces and the response time and the time of the charge of the battery. Huawei is aiming at long-term cooperation in such uh, science-intense uh, sector as system programming and compilers development. The industry should work with the researchers to achieve the goals. And I would like to announce opening the lab uh, of Huawei and um, ISPRAS named after Ivanikov. We are aiming at uh, joint cooperation 
in preparation training the talents, the specialists and researchers in such fundamental key technologies as development of compilers and uh, system programming and joint uh, solutions for the industry to create the best uh, devices for mass use in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So now we are approaching the point related to development of digital platforms, and I think the best person to talk about it is our host, uh, Arutun Ishanovich. Please, you're welcome. Development of uh, digital platforms. Let's start with development of uh, digital platforms. Well, during my presentation, I already mentioned that platform. Uh, well, some say that it's just a keyword or a buzzword, but this is a stack of complicated, sophisticated technologies and platform, from my point of view, it doesn't make sense to uh, to discuss it uh, just uh, outside of everything else. So we need to speak about um, applications. Uh, uh, we are working in areas like linguistics, uh, healthcare, medicine, and I hope that we will start working soon in the agriculture as well, because at the same time, 80% of system software will be the same everywhere. You should not create 10 platforms. Uh, this uh, should we, we advise against it all the time because we lack uh, talents. 80% should be done by system programmers, developers, and the 20% is the applied part, uh, which is different from one segment to another. So you understand that that each of these small things I touched upon, we can have uh, specific research or conferences on each of them separately. So it is important to understand we have a lot of representatives of medicine here in this room. Probably we should also touch upon this block in more details. Let's uh, go. Yes, we will get to this block as well. I just um, I know that uh, Vyacheslav Yelagin from Hewlett Packard is here with us today. Could you please tell us a couple of words about your cooperation? Hello, esteemed colleagues. The history of cooperation of uh, Hewlett Packard Enterprise um, and ISPRAS is uh, uh, more than, even more than 10 years period. Despite the fact that uh, rivers and the mountains uh, change with time, but some things stay the same. Our cooperation and our willingness to continue it in the future. I'm in charge of development of supercomputer technologies in Hewlett Packard Enterprise and our cooperation with the Institute of System Programming is uh, mostly covering the area of supercomputer systems. And over this year in this market, we've witnessed a lot of changes. One company uh, producing graphic accelerators uh, acquired another one that produced Interconnect, Hewlett Packard Enterprise uh, acquired Cray. Uh, but I would like to also touch upon four main events, developments of this year. 25 years anniversary of the Institute, first of all. And this is indeed a a, an area where new talents and new technologies are created and it is great when the spirit of innovations and research is predominant in this institute and I wish you further development in the future. A lot has been said and personal congratulations uh, for Arutin Avicisan. This is an important event indeed. He is uh, first elected academician in the area of information technologies. Uh, development number three. A couple of weeks ago, Hewlett Packard Enterprise announced uh, finalization of supercomputer era and the start of exacomputer era since the world is going now into exascale. And for such uh, systems of exascale, we need to revisit all the approaches uh, utilized before because the market is dictating a bit different approach uh, as to how we utilize these systems. Uh, what was called modeling and simulation, uh, the, the main purpose of supercomputers for these loads, we now add uh, artificial intelligence and uh, processing of big data and delivery and approach uh, to how software work for large systems is very important. So um, it is uh, an achievement of the Institute uh, uh, developing uh, their products in uh, software. And another event of this year, the opening of this open conference, I think this is a very good platform for exchange of expertise and experience and an opportunity to talk to each other inside the community. So I'm happy to welcome all the participants of the conference and I wish the conference very fruitful work. Thank you. So seemingly the communication is going really well and it goes beyond um, Russia. We have a video. Congratulations from Dian Milosevic from Hewlett Packard. Hello everyone. My name is Dian Milosevic and I'm a distinguished technologist at Hewlett Packard Labs. The reason I was so honored and I was looking forward to visiting you is that we have had the close collaboration uh, Institute for Systems Programming or Russian Academy of Sciences 
We're close with uh, Hewlett Packard uh, about 10 years ago when we hosted the Open Series Cloud Computing Testbed. It was a very successful uh, uh, effort. Uh, we have uh, run it for a number of years. We had a number of summits uh, that resulted in a number of papers. About 10 years ago, we recorded a number of videos. It was very uh, deep and close collaboration. Uh, we even hosted one summit uh, in Moscow. It was very well attended uh, with some very good uh, technical results. All of that was at the time when cloud was only beginning. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm looking forward into the future to extend collaboration again. Uh, the ISPRAS also has a very important role for IEEE and especially uh, computer society. Systems programming is my personal expertise and that's why my interest in working with you is so important. Uh, as a closing thought, I'm going to wish you a very successful event and I hope I'll see you uh, pretty soon in the future. Thank you. As Viktor Petrovich would have said, would have said it's great uh, for a person not to be alone, but to have friends. It's great to have friends, and um, they live in the Balkans, beautiful place. Before we go to the medical theme, Mr. Chetvrushkin, academician of RAS, please, you're welcome. Let me join you at the stage. You know, let me, first of all, Mr. Vatisan and the team of ISPRASA, let me congratulate you with this uh, jubilee. 25 years for an institute is a critical age. Uh, a lot of uh, institutes uh, were created 25, 30 years ago, but many of them uh, actually gradually stopped their operations. Uh, but your institute, great prospects, uh, very good uh, employees very good team. The institute is a success and uh, is at the limelight of the Russian, at the forefront of the Russian science. And I'm very happy that, I'm very happy to articulate these congratulations because uh, Viktor Petrovich and I, before, even before the institute was set up, we cooperated and after setting up the institute, we continued cooperation. And frankly speaking, you know, we were friends with Viktor Petrovich. Yes, of course, uh, we had the same outlook over the methodology of science uh, you, through means of fundamental science, uh, tackling applied uh, tasks. Uh, well, we are graduates of MIPT, both of us, uh, uh, and I remember the challenges he faced and um, he shared them with me, the, the challenges he faced when setting up the institute 25 years ago. Well, we know, we all know what time, uh, what time we had at that period. Uh, you know, there were a lot of uh, real obstacles around, uh, and he was elected academician uh, in 2008, uh, but uh, uh, I think he was very energetic, and he realized that he was doing the right thing. So I think that this institute is the best monument for him. I, I should say that we continue cooperation with your great institute, and uh, Arutun Ishanovich already mentioned that supercomputer technologies, uh, yes, you're right, speaking about exacomputers, uh, that's uh, mathematical procurement and algorithms and AI and a lot of other tasks uh, are there, a lot of tasks for the fundamental science. So Arutun Ishanovich already mentioned the codes of or open source, open access and digital house. I would like to say a couple of words, scientific words about this. So the digital domain, I believe, the biggest success is possible only when AI technologies are merged with mathematics and physics. So I believe that this will provide uh, the best results. I would like to once again uh, congratulate the Institute. So, this can be the fundamental core of the digital economy. This is of pivotal importance for us. And what Viktor Petrovich started 25 years ago, this was a great thing that he has done. And another important thing, which is once again on behalf of our institute, I would like to congratulate the associates of the Institute of System Programming with Artun Arkhanovich, you with this great anniversary, and wish you the best of success and wish you uh, to move ahead, and we will support you. Mm -hmm. So in your speech you mentioned that 25 years is a critical age, but uh, 
25 years is not something to be feared by ISP because we are strategic and we are also engaged in digital medicine. So we are moving to this. And I would like to listen to the uh, opinion of Asaf Schuster on that. Very happy to be here. Thank you for the organizers for uh, inviting me. This is the third time that I'm here. I enjoy it every time. Um, we have lots of discussions about ongoing technologies, and I'm really impressed about the diversity of the people that arrive here, and I'm looking forward for a great conference. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. And Arutun mentioned it, that the Institute does not only science, it also is engaged in education and training, and it's growing its team of experts. This is amazing, and this is great that the Institute is also getting new partners of inside Russia and outside of Russia. I would like to hand over now to the uh, Vice President of the Institute uh, of Sechenov. Good afternoon. Dear all, thank you very much for the inviting me here, thanks to the organizer. And I agree that the pace at which the world is changing is very fast. Several years ago, a physician uh, was absolutely independent, and he could do his job on his own. And just giving right now, a doctor, a physician, a clinician cannot do it alone. I'm talking about the high-level clinician. So a clinician and even jointly with a biologist cannot do on his own. Only cross-disciplinary approach can help with engineers, with mathematicians, with physicists, with specialists in biomaterials and new materials. Of course, IT experts are called in. And we are actively developing the stream in our institute. We created the in scientific and technological stream at uh, the session of university a couple of years ago. And by the way, we are one of the five universities in Russia who have uh, won the grant for digitalization. And it means that we will receive financial support from the federal government, uh, without which such steps are very challenging to make. Right now, in medicine, digitalization is one of the prerequisites that can help forge successful model as the e uh, medical records, data processing, large data arriving from the oncology, for example, and of course, education and training. We have new specializations like IT medical specialists that we do together with IT experts. And of course, the full blend is needed here. And our university is a partner of the ISP, so we're a young partner of the Young Institute. Just this year, we have inked a deal and right now we are really hungry for some real projects that we can work on together. I see that this is a mutual um, aspiration on both sides, and I am sure that next year we will come up with a project which is based on a win-win approach. I would like to read out the address from the president of university, academic, academician Glibochko. Dear Arutun Ishkanovich, dear colleagues, please accept my sincere congratulations with the 25th anniversary of ISP at Russian Academy of Sciences. Over this year, the institute became the driver of new technologies in many innovative domains from operation systems, uh, big data analysis, system programming, development of secure uh, software, and keeping up with the best practices that were set forth by Viktor Petrovich Ivanikov. You are keeping the level and continue doing so. You are creating the agenda in IT and applied mathematics. You encourage young scientists to work with you. So outstanding results reached by your institute and getting the international acknowledgement was done thanks to the cooperation with, the, with your team and the team of brilliant experts who are loyal to what they do and to the country. I wish you the best of luck and uh, a successful project. Thank you. Thank you very much for your words. Armai Salbertovich, so what do you think about digital medicine from the perspective of the Moscow State University? Dear Arutun Ishkanovich, dear friends and dear colleagues, I'm so happy to be with you today. And I had the Medical Scientific and Education Center at the Moscow State University named after Lomonosov. And I just wanted to say that actually healthcare in general is facing a challenge which is about digitalization. And right now our center has accumulated a lot of experience on how to apply IT technologies. And by the way, one of our systems that is based on transferring data from the patient to 
uh, the center is some remote monitoring, for example, is actively used in African countries where we have presented these technologies at the recent Russia-Africa Forum. At the same time, I would like to say that medicine without digitalization, without system management, without um, information technologies that are integrated today in various uh, areas of human activity. So medicine will not go ahead. Healthcare will not go ahead without it. So healthcare is uh, the area in which a doctor cannot make an error of failures. You can rebuild the house, but you cannot remake your health or your body. Therefore, high quality uh, healthcare services, not only at the federal level service, but across all uh, levels and across all regions in Russia is critical. And jointly with Artyom Shkhanovich, we agreed to talk and discuss some interesting program about oncology. And here the big data processing is needed, creating the library of big data, which will allow us to develop hardware uh, training and will provide the needed support to doctors and phys physicians uh, across all Russian territory. Therefore, I count on our partnership. I count on the results that will arrive out of our joint work. And uh, from me too, I congratulate you on the anniversary 25 years. Maybe the, the number 25 is not important. What's important is what you have managed to do over these years and that you have accumulated the experience in settling many strategic tasks that were set for you and that were assigned to you by the federal government. And I also have uh, this letter for you, which shares all our kind words for you. Well, ISP can do many things with such great partners. I would like to hand over to the Councillor on Scientific Work at um, Pirogov National uh, Center, Mr. Andrei Pulin. Good morning, dear everyone. Well, I would like to happily join the words of previous speakers and, of course, in ITs everywhere. Medical information system, electronic medical records, on patients, so there, this is not something that we can be surprised, right? But still, there are some um, standalone things or exclusive things in which help is needed and in which the ISP can help. So, so called pragmatic research, which are currently uh, like getting viral. So, these are the research which is based on the analysis of large areas of medical data which should be collected properly. In our case, I mean, not collected, but uh, downloaded or extracted from different versatile systems, then they have to be unified, standardized, and of course we cannot go ahead without the technologies. And of course, the decision-making support system, um, I mean medical decision, which is using neural networks and AI, and of course here we also cannot go ahead without the support of our colleagues. I think that our institute, the Pirogov Institute, is one of the youngest partners of uh, ISP, and we are just discussing, we have started discussing the design of the potential joint system, but actually design is 50% of all work. I would like to congratulate the Institute of System Programming with your anniversary, and I really hope that by the next time of the conference next year, we will uh, already report on the first results of our joint effort. Great, thank you. Let's now move on to linguistics, linguistics stream. Asif, Asif, sorry, Asif. Two words about our joint project that we will start joining. Because, uh, not general greeting, but two words about our project. Maybe it will be interesting for community because it's about medicine too, yeah? Of course. Yeah, um, sure. Um, we, this year we won a, a project that is joined with the Israel government and the Russian government uh, to fund a development in the cardiovascular um, domain. Uh, what we're doing, uh, we noted that there's no um, data, there's no recordings that are sufficient in order to develop artificial intelligence solutions. And by, me, by saying artificial development, I'm of course referring to the state of the art uh, most recent uh, models that exist on the market, which are deep neural networks. And so we have a unique solution uh, that we are going to develop together in order to uh, obtain this data and in order to classify automatically uh, heart diseases. Uh, I think this is uh, the, all, all the details that I can provide here. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. I just would like to 
And so there is a head of ES leasing company who works with us for many years. And actually, this is an interesting story because we do not have, have many companies in uh, our country who invest in science. And actually, we work with them for several years and they invest in us. They invest in our research and they invest in medicine, medical stream. So 25 years uh, we've been working and they are investing in us. As for medical stream, Harutun Skandish can surprise us. Actually, we work with him for a number of years and I am talking about the 20%. I believe that around five years ago we started investing our equity into projects on how to define different diseases based on cardio diagrams. We work with Cardio Quark. Cardio Quark is the only solution available globally which is certified as national medical product and the solution which is done there are judicially reasonable. Therefore, we started looking into some exotic diseases like diabetes. But we actually created the model, the simulation of the heart and someone mentioned that first comes mathematics and physics, and after that, artificial intelligence. So the simulation of heart in the form of water reverse. So it was something like a nuclear bomb. So it caused similar effect. We did medical research on two sides. The head of the research was the PhD in medicine, Ashot Mukertunyan. And we even uh, made a report at Triple I. Uh, conference and as part of Radio Quark project, we have defined sensitivity and specificity on defining diabetes in a diagram, although no standard has it. So we need to rework the standards then, and we're going to do so. And Artunis Hakovic is also do does that, and we can actually bring our efforts together, can join them, and the recognition that uh, the job can be. Uh, united and we can, I believe, come up with some interesting result. Great. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. So, but uh, completing the Medic, the healthcare or medicine topic, I will hand over to Molochkov Anton, who is Deputy Director on Science in Monica. Well, yes, I'm the final one in the medical stream. So we are about starting our joint work with the ISP, and the important thing is target setting. Many speakers mentioned different things, but the key thing is. Uh, actually about doctors who do not know what to want from the system programming, right? So they cannot set proper targets. This is very important. Before you start a dialogue, you need to listen attentively to each other in order to come up with something fruitful. All instruments are available. So 80% is your job and 20% is on our side to give you proper targets, to give you proper tasks. Okay, and when we started talking about money, I saw someone smiling. Why did you smile? Okay. Yes, the friends, I will start with some words of congratulation uh, to the ISP, Arutsun Shanvich. I congratulate you from the bottom of my heart. And I would like to recall the recommendation given by academician Ivanika which was mentioned by academician Avatisan. You have to talk not only about the achievements that you have now, but you need to mention the future ones, what, where we are heading. So I am from this sphere. So we are not yet cooperating, although it's quite strange because there is a range, a whole range of streams uh, in which we can cooperate. And uh, we met with Arutun around two years ago. He came, we met with several colleagues of his, so he f has formulated his proposals and suggestions. And maybe it's on our side that we were delayed with our response. Yet a lot of things, uh, of course, do require information, technologies, mathematics, and common sense something that's needed by the banks and my finance. Also, 
information security issues, analysis and processing of big data, the payment system, all this needs relevant level of security. And you know that we work on credit risk system development, insurance and management of risks in loan and lending, remote identification and biometric data. So it is strange that the Institute does have such great results and using them and we are not there with you. We're still looking for some touch points. But I'm really thankful for that. And maybe our system in inertia perhaps it's our also advantage. And the artificial intelligence um, it's not the prerogative of academic institutes only, and uh, maybe at some stage we will assure that system approach is what is needed by everyone. So when you are guided not only by ambitions, but the content. And why well, I'm really thankful for the invitation to the conference. And, and we do not yet have joint projects yet, but I'm very emotional um, about the work that you do positively. I have a very positive feeling about that and the atmosphere that you have in your segment of science, the culture of relationship that was uh, set up by academician Ivanikov, and you are maintaining this beautiful legacy in terms of culture of relationship and its mindset. So we always remember uh, academician Ivanikov. I never met him, but I have a feeling that I personally knew him because of his big personal contribution into the institute. So of course, mathematics and informatics is about science, about education, about practice, but it's also about culture. You know, our society lacks a lot the culture which fortunately has maintained in some segments uh, or in some scientific schools i graduated from the physical depart physics department at the moscow state university and i recall my professors with such great gratitude lahinsev for example was my leader aftsamovich in dubna nestrovsky gancharsky these are the names of professors who were creating uh, an important culture of relationship with. And 1994, that's a unique thing. Ivanikov man managed to create the institute and receive such great results. Arutyun Ishanovich, you said that you'd not need, you are operating on an off-budget financing. Now, we need financing. Yeah, okay. So that would be really great that you are financed not only by budget, but also by financial markets. And I hope that we will arrive to this result. But you see, this is so unique. This is so amazing. And the great young team that you have, and you managed to establish great, inspiring, creative atmosphere that generates not only ideas, but is also solving the tasks. And I really hope that we will uh, fill our 20 percent, because if the task is properly set and is clear cut, then I'm sure that a mathematicians of your level can settle any or resolve any task. And I'm sure that we will be able to closely cooperate with you uh, after removing some uh, too high ambitions who are too self-conscious. Thank you and good luck to you. Thank you very much, Gergina Shatovich. I would like to say that we hope to increase uh, budget financing because science really needs budget financing. But, uh, Mr. Tosinan, is it an obligatory a commitment, uh, what you articulated? Well, developing this idea 
a lot is said around now about development of digital platforms. Every state corporation has tasks like that, and the banking sphere is also active in this area. In Sochi, we were talking to young teams of a couple of banks that are developing digital platforms. But I think guys go the wrong way. I think uh, those guys from banks should go to the institute. They should come to the institute. Now we're going to a mathematical modeling block. Uh, starting 2010, two labs are working in the framework of the institute. Uh, um, scaled uh, cloud technologies are used for the platform. They use open software for mechanics of continued environment, and they teach um, developers in industrial companies and universities and set up your communities in this area. I know that our German colleague, Bilke Jorn, I wanted to say a couple of words. Bilke, are you here? Please, you're welcome. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for organizing this conference. It's the first time that I am here, and this is also the time that we co cooperate with the Institute. I run a small engineering company in Germany, in Dresden, and four years ago I had a task to fulfill, and my typical software was probably not optimal, and I found that there is an open source software released from Mr. Kraposhin's group. I tried it and it worked well, and so we established a cooperation. Last year, we took a deeper investigation to compare a leading commercial software with this open source software and found that this open source part is, gives us excellent results, works stable, and so we were very happy to have this software, this cooperation. We also have plans for future cooperation. And something interesting happened. I was looking who is working on this field in Germany, and I was talking to a professor who is highly excellent and have his own research code. And when I told him that we have this cooperation and maybe want to implement these models in an open source code, he, was, he offered immediately to share his research code with the group of Mr. Kraposhin and even help to implement these models into the open source code. And this shows two things. The first one is the high reputation of this group, and the second one, that the cooperation between Russian and German scientists work very well. Thank you. Thank you. I work in the system of education. I offer consulting for rectors of a number of leading universities, and I'm very happy that the Institute of System Programming is developing cooperation with the Moscow State Aviation Institute. Uh, Mr. Pogasan, the rector, uh, so please tell us a couple of words about your cooperation. Thank you very much. I would like to say that uh, I am very happy to be here today at this conference, and I think that 25 years is great to age for a creative team. I think that you've already accelerated uh, experience and authority and vision for the prospects. Uh, speaking about math, uh, mathematical modeling and things we discussed with um, Ace for us, I think that this is one of the areas uh, that will define the development of high-tech industry in the future. Various uh, complexes today are so sophisticated that without math mo mathematical modeling, testing such systems is uh, taking years uh, and decades, and the product uh, is uh, getting obsolete before it is in the market. I think this is a very good trend indeed, what we are doing, and uh, the uh, joint um, uh, aircraft uh, corporation and Sukhoi company, where I spent many years uh, developing new techniques. Uh, over the ten, recent 10, 15 years, uh, we witnessed a revolution in mathematical modeling, and now we have instruments uh, uh, to have in-depth research uh, to actually uh, reduce the amount of physical tests. And that's very important. And what the labs uh, under in the framework of ISPRAS, uh, uh, the, their developments uh, allow us to have um, greater uh, great potential for the future and we see opportunities for closer cooperation. Another thing, I like it very much that we share the same philosophy. We, I've been cooperating with institutes of uh, Russian Academy of Sciences for a long period of time now and no, it's not the case uh, that everyone shares the same philosophy that fundamental science uh, should go in close cooperation with the applied science and applied uh, uh, development. Uh, uh, I think that uh, we share the same views with Arjun Shkhanovich and there are other colleagues in Russian Academy of Sciences who also share this idea, but this is not the basic philosophy of, the, of this um, 
structure, but the dynamics of the modern life uh, is more in line with these processes and ideas we share. I think we're like-minded people. And another idea I would like to express uh, an area for our closer cooperation, implementation of modern methods of mathematical modeling is related to huge lack of talents and specialist changes uh, happened over the recent decade are not uh, reflected uh, enough and uh, we do not have enough talents in this area. Yes, there are people who are good in modeling, in development programming, those who are good in physical processes, but they are not experts in modeling. And those who can uh, mix all these capabilities um, and competences is a challenge uh, to find them. To find them is a challenge. And setting up a joint lab together with this process, I think that uh, what we'll do quite soon and open master's programs in the framework of the lab and I see huge opportunities in this area. I think that we'll be able to find opportunities to raise budget and non-budget funds for these works. <laughs> Holy words indeed. Just I wanted to start talking about the stipend program. Dear colleagues, they, they told us uh, uh, that we now do not have any technical problems now. We now have a presentation on digital platform, Julian Romansky on linguistic digital platform. Let's have these slides on the screen. Please use the microphone, otherwise interpretation is impossible. Large volumes of data force uh, the whole world to the point where one lab, can, one institute cannot tackle such tasks today. For instance, uh, gene, gene challenges. One lab thought that uh, uh, it will take 100 years to tackle all the problems. And in philology, we face the same scale of problems. According to UNESCO, 136 languages of Russia here on the map are at the brink of the extinction now. So language is not shared with children. It is not uh, transferred to children. Hanty-Mansisk region and other regional languages are only taught in school, but schools lack teachers who can teach high on high quality level. And this problem was also articulated by the president at the round table devoted to the Russian language. So we need to tackle this problem as soon as possible. We had a five-year grant for defining the uh, languages at the brink of the extinction uh, with 10 people speaking these languages. but. Um, we, but it was a challenge to, to work with such a task, and some of the carriers of this language speakers died. Uh, so, computer technologies today, uh, in computer technologies in linguistics, the whole market has already been distributed. Uh, according to statistics, more than 70% even do not know about computer and international standards uh, when defining the languages, describing the languages. So, there is no such niche in the regions and in the country. Next slide, please. Next. So we can say that in Europe, the budget of uh, Clarion organization that uh, describes languages, for instance, FinClarion, their budget is comparable to that of the Helsinki University. So it means that uh, they are very serious about uh, storing data on fading languages. Uh, but uh, storing the material is one thing through Institute of Systemic system programming, link with Docker software uh, were more, even more effective because we embedded algorithms analyzing data and having new databases from analysis of all existing databases on languages from this platform. And thanks to this platform, our project uh, uh, had uh, the second place in the country on the number of the rated publications. And after this, the minister invited us and uh, instructed us to lead uh, the work uh, on de descri describing fading languages in Russia on the basis of um, ASPRAS. Colleagues from 31 Institute Phil Philology Institutes uh, had the trainings on LinguaDoc platform. As of today, we plan to start uh, uh, Finnogorsky languages um, uh, as of today. And we plan to go to the next level and 100 times increase 100 times the amount of material. Researchers, international researchers are very interested in this platform. We signed contracts with directors of philology institutes of Germany. They will also go to this platform because uh, uh, there are no analogs in Europe now. Finnish uh, researchers with scientists with good algorithms of analysis of large texts and training platforms based on neural networks are ready to give us their platforms free of charge in exchange for our platform and work uh, in a win-win environment. Uh, we hope to implement all these plans under the support of the ministry and on the basis of the ESPRAS. Thank you very much. Uh, 
Artem Ishanovich, the Russian language, medicine, security, electronic platforms. I think uh, you need to build up two more floors in your building because you have so many tasks and targets to meet. So with this good news, uh, our colleague uh, articulated, uh, let's go to the stipend program block. I think I will not uh, repeat what has been said. You know, we didn't prepare this presentation. I I hear that the ministry also instructed us on this, on the base to prepare this on the basis of the institute. Actually, we already set up a lab, and we see the we saw the leader of the lab now. Uh, interdisciplinary tasks to moderate them. You need to control everything, otherwise it will be a bit chaotic process. The institute. Uh, and everyone knows that the institute offers stipends to students who join our department. We have three. And today, on behalf of uh, our team, you know, we discussed it internally. I'd like to announce, uh, uh, without um, pomp and circumstance, I would like to say that every year, this conference, we look at uh, a results uh, presentation conference where we talk about technologies and the tech level we are now on. I mean, the country and the in institute, I think, we're quite good in our area. Uh, just a simple case, uh, my teacher, Mr. Vanikov, uh, um, you know, in our PhD council, we do not, uh, we do not uh, use the, the feedback papers. When I def defended my PhD, my friend said, I want to give you feedback on your work. And I told Viktor Petrovich, uh, he wants to give me feedback. Uh, well, he just said, uh, we do not need feedback because we are the best. He was a professional anyway. He understood that that's important. And this is a real story and you can translate it to others. This is a position we had and we stick to this position still because it's hard to go away from it now. So we ha always had the stipend program. We never announced it officially, but I realized that now we need to articulate the information on it. So this is uh, uh, an open stipend with some rules. So we will soon, I'm not going to articulate all of them now. We'll have a special website uh, for the stipend program and the amount of financing from off budget sources for this stipend program over during the year is not less than 25 million and in the year we'll tell you how much uh, the real figure is uh, but at least 25 million so this means regional regional universities and labs so we'll have new partners i think uh, moscow aviation institute and other universities in moscow we do not have any limitations we are absolutely tolerant uh, in terms of geography and anything else we just want people to create technologies so those who can be involved and participate we will act as moderators we will not limit uh, ourselves with the analysis of programs uh, or cybersecurity, but the areas where we need to develop, uh, primarily we will do it. If our ministry or other institutions want to participate, we will be very happy. But we actually rely on our own resources and basing on that, in the coming years we're going to structure all that properly for students to see such information and to receive the stipend through their universities officially. So this is just a simple announcement I wanted to make for this 25 years anniversary. Thank you very much. And closing our panel discussion, a couple of words from you. Well, frankly speaking, I knew that everything would be fine, nice and cozy, but I never thought that we would have so many people here and we talk to each other and I understand that, uh, well, I, I'll try to avoid being too proud of all that because, you know, this that's really great. Uh, it's great that uh, the model Mikhail Alexandrovich started. I don't know whether Russian Academy of Sciences has it or not. You know, in the Department of Mathematics, we always felt this atmosphere. Uh, well, we want this atmosphere to prevail because I'm sure that innovations and traditions uh, simultaneously is the only way we can follow to be competitive and develop due to various reasons uh, uh, that are described by our philosophers and historians, uh, uh, but that are based on my personal experience of the recent 25 years. I ask you every, I'd ask you every year, please book this date on your calendar, join us here once a year so for us to discuss uh, everything and the commitments, uh, not only from our side, but uh, from the partner's side, so for us to verify them. And we will do it together. Thank you very much. I think that this position and this uh, optimism deserves great applause. Round of applause, please, colleagues.